have the teapot! Oh, um, I might have dropped that during the fight. You dropped it during the fight? Uh, it's going, Mikey. It's your fault! How is it my fault? You know, I can't be trusted with nice things. <laughs> Dude, you're so good. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> oh, my God. You dropped me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you must have had some practice. I was, I was, you know the turtles very well, the don't you? a couple times. <laughs> <laughs>
oh, we're parodying Teen Titans, and we're parodying the X-Men, and Ronin, and Daredevil, and all these things, and for a 10-year-old kid, yeah. that just, like, it, worlds exploded in my head instantly that were never there. So, like, to, to have Kevin give it a compliment like that just blew my mind. And yeah. he, loves, he loves Sipes. Man, I love him, and just to see him around all the time, you know, even over at Nickelodeon. And he's Ice Cream Kitty, and that's the one thing he wanted. <laughs> he's yeah. like, dude, make sure I'm, I get to play Ice Cream Kitty. Well, we're like, should we give him a voice? Should, if Kevin needs to be a voice. Kevin needs to be, what, what would it be, like a pizza delivery guy? And he's like, nah, Ciro's pizza delivery guy. And then it's like, well, and then he's like, Ice Cream Kitty. <laughs> yeah. And then we're like, are you sure you want to be Ice Cream Kitty? He's like, no, I have to do it. It's not a voice. You just have to act like a cat. He's like, wah. Yeah. Like, all right. <laughs> All right, Kevin Eastman, whatever you and like. And I lick him <laughs> yeah. a lot. All the time. I lick Kevin he all the like, time. Yeah, that's weird. I didn't think of it that yeah. way. Yeah. And, you, and he's, oh, Kevin Eastman, you're so delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, ice cream kitty. Yeah. Ice cream kitty, so tasty. How do you feel about the evolution of Michelangelo? Because when he first came on the scene, he was really jokey and stuff like that. But it seems like, I can tell definitely in season two, he seemed to sort of take charge a lot more. It's, it's a natural evolution as Mikey comes into his power and he's learning from his brothers and, you know, all the big battles and fights, you know, he, he's bound to gain wisdom and, and knowledge, but he's still the same Mikey, you know, free, wild, in love with life. And that, that'll that never stop, you know, but I think we'll continue to see Mikey evolve as a, you know, as a, as a warrior, someone who, who's able to take charge. Especially when something happens with his brothers that Mikey is right there. Yeah, they, I, <laughs> I got their backs <laughs> like a turtle do. The thing with Mikey was always that he's just like, he doesn't have to be so strict on himself. He's, you know, very footloose and kind of carefree. He's a Maoist. Mikey, Mikey <laughs> is a Maoist. He's totally open, like his... his you know he's he's more enlightened and in the flow so because it comes that easy for him he kind of he he, he goose off a little bit <laughs> also Cyril makes sure he also makes sure that Mikey's like the pretty much the best fighter Mikey's got the sweetest moves yeah he's almost dancing yeah yeah, yeah. well he tells all the artists he's make sure Mikey is that he does that for me yeah he balances it out because we want him to be you know fun and 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 like kind of more loose with his dialogue and stuff you could say mikey's the ultimate ninja really you could just say it zero and i think you, you know could say the it. more pizza he eats like the more it kind of <laughs> alters you know what i'm talking it's about like a popeye thing yeah like. there's a little bit it's like it has a weird effect on his uh, brain waves so he's into it he's like it's like catnip for mikey i say that. that mixed with ice cream kitty watch out do you have a favorite one from this season or something that you just enjoy doing bringing in tire claw was so rad and that character came together so great and a big part of that i think and it's not just the design but like i think bowser just killed it eric bowser who's the voice of tiger claw was yeah. just phenomenal i remember when i first finished the tiger claw uh, the episode where karai is mutated and there's this part where you know when splinter holds her mm -hmm. and he's just like cry and he's all set and it's like because i did this thing with the sound where we dropped out everything so it's like you're almost like in splinter's head i was like completely moved and i made it you know i've been working on it for a year yeah. and to have it done and see it like that for the first time i was just like i was all kind of like i, I kind of had a moment yeah yeah it was I, intense I get that kind of thing every time i see the show it's intense when i'm doing adr i'm like oh, magical every time i see a clip i'm just and blown sebastian away. evans does our music so i gotta give props out to him and in that one you guys are gonna see it. it's called into dimension x it'll be the second show that plays when we come back okay. He like pulled out his theremin for it, and it's, it's wild. Rad. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's rad. awesome. Something I've also picked up on the show. It seems like you guys like to play around with the horror genre a lot. Well, you know, we're a bunch of ghouls. I mean, I <laughs> myself and my 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 best buddy Brandon, who happens to be the other EP. Uh, you know, we're all Fangoria kids from the '80s. I mean, we grew up with that stuff. The thing about horror, I think, it's just very noticeable. We do a lot of genre stuff. Yeah. Like, we also do a heavy dose of sci-fi. If I could somehow figure it out, I would do like a West an episode <laughs> but it would be so expensive we'd, in, have, we'd, in have to build all, we'd have to build all new sets wild west turtles i, I think that'd be a really cool thing Raph. yeah yeah all you gotta do is you get you get playmates to make the figures and then it's like boom the thing about the 80s turtles i know i was talking about how i didn't follow so much i actually did follow the toys yeah like while the cartoon was going on i wasn't watching it, i was buying the toys which is weird right but uh i would love to bring back the idea of doing the universal monster crossover ninja turtle figures yeah i'm so into them I have all of them carded.
unpunched. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Is there any special version of the Turtles that you like to see? Is there a rock and roll Mikey? There's a the rock and roll line had a hip hop Mikey that was basically dressed like Flavor Flav. Yeah, that's old. Yeah, like school. a clock. I have that's that one. fresh. Yeah, we found that one one time Still, in San like Francisco. Super deluxe. He looks like Flavor Flav. Flav. He looks like a green Flavor Flav. <laughs> we love Public Enemy. That's just like while we're having this yeah, interview. Yeah, we... Oh, oh, Chuck, they're out to get us. Whatever things you're allowed to say, you know, what, what can we expect in season three? How do I put this? I think we want to get to a place where we can start to wrap up Krang storylines. I think we want to get to a place where we can kind of prepare ourselves to really deal with the Shredder story in a real way. The opportunity for Seth Green, who we love, you know, to come in as Leonardo, coincidentally comes at a time where I think Leo is almost reborn. You might feel a little bit of a tone shift, but like once it kind of settles, it'll feel like the old show again, but, but amped up. Yeah, I'm into it. But we talked about the turtle van today, you know. Party wagon's awesome. Yes, I've yes. always loved that toy. And to have it in the show is it's like... Rad. It's so rad. I want a real I, life I, one you know that I can sleep in and live I'm gonna, in. I'm going to say <laughs> this right now. park it in front of Nickelodeon and <laughs> park the it is party rad. van. When we get to New York Comic Con, I'm going to just be like... Bleh. And then this. And then that. Ah, I'm freaking out. But I, I, I want to hold on to it so bad. I have to. Thanks a lot, you guys. This is great. You're yeah, watching yeah. Black Nerd. Keep watching. <laughs> <laughs>